All right, my favorite part of the show, Super Coach segment. Leo's chucked in an interesting one here that we're all going to have a chat about. Everyone's player to avoid or trade out for round two. Avoid at all costs, uh, some would say. Uh, Leo, do you want to start us off with your player to avoid ahead of Big Bash Super Coach round two? Yeah, so I'm picking Spencer Johnson to avoid. So he's 114,000. He's gone down 11,000 already. I still mm. really like him as a player. Like he's a very, very good bowler, quick, great angle that he bowls. Uh, but just based off the first two games, Bartlett, Nisa, and even Walter were the more threatening quicks, I thought, who were picking up yep. the wickets. Uh, and I just think it's one to sort of trade out now because he's got a break even of 72. So he'll most likely go down in value over the next few games. So that yep. means even if he gets a 50 or 55 and actually has a good game, takes a few wickets, then he'll still go down in price. And I think you want someone going up in value, obviously. So he's one for me to avoid um, at the moment. May, may feature later in the season, but at the moment, I'll, I'm going to moment. avoid him. Uh, yeah, nice. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't Yeah, don't mind that at all because the other guys are sort of stepping up, especially especially Bartlett, as you mentioned. I think uh, he sort of surprised me to start the season. He's, he's been dominating. Uh, Marcus, who are you going for your play to avoid? Well, I'm going for, for Marcus Stoinis. Yep. Um, yeah, my namesake is 106,800. <laughs> uh, he's already gone down 10K. Uh, obviously, the stars with a buy in round two. So, obviously, got any stars, players, probably anyone other than Maxwell, trade them out <laughs> or put Maxwell on your bench, which I saw was interesting, actually. The most traded player was... Well, my team at least was was Glenn Maxwell traded yeah, out. So, very weird. Um, yeah, I thought that was a bit bit crazy considering he should be back for for the next Stars game. Um, considering their big break, so yeah, I think Marcus Stoinis um, underperformed in round one. So well, I traded him out at least. So yep. it's up to everyone else. Yeah, no, I, I don't mind that one as well. Just he doesn't look like himself at the moment. Doesn't look confident. Hasn't really been bowling much as well in the T20 format, so he might not be worth uh, having as your all-rounder that pretty much the last four or five seasons, everyone's gone, oh, we need to pick Storin. So maybe to start this season, especially the way the Stars are going, nothing in the Stars is going right. So maybe the only player you should really have is Maxi, or personally, I think, in that side. Uh, my uh, player to avoid is Sam Billings. We've talked about him a lot in this podcast. We said he was a close to a must-have in round one just because the Heat had three games. Now they've only got one game in the most of the rounds coming up. Uh, he's 114,300, bit of a T20 specialist, but Jimmy Pearson is uh, back in this side. The Aussie, uh, he's their number one keeper for the Brisbane Heat. Billings, I just don't trust him to get a big enough score. I think he's going to have a lot of games this season. I think as he did last season, where he gets sort of 20-odd with the bat, might have a decent strike rate, but if he's getting 20-odd with the bat and his price isn't going up, as Leo mentioned, sort of like Spencer Johnson, who's already gone down a fair bit. Billings has gone down, I think, a couple of thousand, just looking at it now. Not that that's that much, but uh, he's going to have to get a decent score the next few rounds for his uh, price to go back up. Uh, also, he's not going to get those keeping points. Jimmy Pearson back, I think uh, you lose, I think, probably 20 points or 15, 20 points. If you get a three, a three catches or something like that, I think it's about five points a catch or 10 points a catch. Uh, so, yeah, I don't trust Billings to go up in price, and I don't see him scoring many 40s or 50s. I think he's in that side just to score a quick 20. And uh, it, yeah, he's averaging 28 point super coach points so far this season, which is not too bad, but you can definitely afford a player at about 100, 110, 120,000 that can average 30 to 40 super coach points. So not going to have uh, Sam Billings in my side this week. All right. Uh, I think that's it for the show, lads. We've done pretty well there. We've got through some super coach, uh, get rid of the yeah, in your super coach. We've got some yeah, nahs and everything like that. That was pretty good. Uh, that's it for the show. We'll be back with this tomorrow, of course, after a huge match tonight. We'll see if the Thunder can get bowled out for less than 15. That would be hilarious, but also annoying because then we have less cricket to watch. Uh, so get right around the show. Subscribe on your podcast apps, Spotify, Apple Podcasts, etc. Like and review it, would you? Chuck a follow on Cricket Today and Cricket Today AU all over the socials. That's Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and X. Send in any questions via the socials. Ads Brad McKeegan did the other day. We love your ENR questions if you send them in or anything you want us to chat about. Have a go at us in the comments. We all also love that. Look, Marcus and Leah love replying to all types of comments uh, all over TikTok and Instagram. <laughs> uh, so that's it, I think. Uh, thank you, Leo. Thanks, Stats Guy. Thanks, Marcus. Cheers, Stats Guy. Thanks, Joe, for producing or anything that happens in the show, even when we freeze. He fixes it up, makes us look good. Thanks to me. And that's another episode of Cricket Today Done. We're out.